possible by 343 Studios. Hey, what's going on everybody? DJ Fire here, back with yet another gig log. And this one, well, is about first responders. Lincoln Fire, which is a sub-department here in Charleston and Mattoon area. So we've got our Charleston Paid Department, our Mattoon Paid Department, and then we have Lincoln Fire, which is a volunteer fire protection district that is basically out in the area of our, you know, country areas. This is the second annual Lincoln Fire Protection Fall Fest. Now, it's kind of a festival. They have food vendors. They have stuff for the kids to do. They also have... Uh, extrication demonstrations with uh, the Jaws of Life, which you will see here in the video. They have canine demonstrations with the police officer, and Axial uh, is a really awesome dog, so I hope you really enjoy that part. And there's also a water ball uh, game, which basically is like tug of war with fire hoses. So you basically have a ball up on a um, like rope and you use fire hose and water to shoot the, the ball. So you've got two teams and you're fighting against the water and fighting against the, to get the ball to slide down the rope. The uh, ball is on a bunch of pulleys. So it slides back and forth as the water hits it. It's kind of a competition. Who can push the ball to the other team's side and win? It takes two minutes. Whoever's got the ball the furthest in two minutes wins. So I suit up fully in fire gear and jump in to help out Lincoln Fire's cadet team. Uh, well, we didn't do so hot. We only won one round out of four, but it's a lot harder than it looks and you're gonna see that here towards the end of the video. So, hope you guys enjoy and we'll see you at the All end. All right, of the video. so here's the setup. Just my 10 by 10 tent. Of course, my Pro-X event booth, my two 15 inch Seismic Audio speakers, my 610 JBL uh, speakers, uh, and then on the 15 inch speakers, we had those up on the uh, crank up stand so I could get them up a little ways to project the sound out further to help people hear announcements and hear the music better. So that worked out perfect. Give me the strength to save some life, whatever it be its age. Help me embrace the little child before it's too late, or save the older person from the horror of that fate. Enable me to be alert and hear the weakest shout and quickly and efficiently put that fire out. I want to fill my calling and give the best. I want to fill my calling and give the best in me to guard my every neighbor and protect their property. And if according to my faith keep everybody safe today. And Lord, thank you for everybody that has came here to prepare for this day. Just now I pray. Amen. Now, here comes the beautiful Arivac 145 out of Service Lincoln Health Center here in Map 2. They came out to uh, land on the ball field to let people see the helicopter, and a lot of the little ones loved sitting inside of it and getting to see all the cool medical equipment and kind of just understanding what a medical helicopter is. It's basically an ambulance in the sky.
Hit the window right in the corner, it should spider web. Yeah, yes, you can see how strong that window was. It took pretty good force to break it. We're using what's called a halligan to use to pry the door open, to break the lock to get the door to open. They also use these halligans inside a structure fire when they use in dark, smoky areas to be able to find stuff while they're crawling around inside of the fire. You might be saying, well, this sure is taking a long time. Well, we want to get you out safely and not quickly and, and injure you more. You guys are professionals. Yep, that's me doing auto commentary. And I basically explained to the audience what was going on during the extrication. The Jaws of Life. Capable of cutting through a car like no other. Now they're working near the beat pillar of the vehicle, trying to get that door to pop open. This isn't just a demonstration. This is also a training for the cadet firefighters that are coming on to the fire department so they can do this out in the field in a real life situation. Sorry about the wind getting in the camera. It was very windy out, uh, as you can tell. As he just told the dog to stay, the dog is watching him but not moving. Now, if you ever see a police officer at an event with his dog, don't ever be afraid of the dog. The dog is there to help you. The dog is a man's best friend. So Axel, he's five years old. He's from Slovakia. Um, we've been together. Give it up for our criminal here.
As the officer is searching and got pushed, that dog protected the officer by going after the criminal. I don't think Chris has a chance. <laughs> Let's give Chris a round of applause. And Axial, too. So we got Roman up on the truck running the pump as the kids are shooting water. Teaching kids how to put fire out. I think some of the older kids are learning how to put a fire out. <laughs> Pretty cool little. I think the fire's out. All right, now we're getting down to the water ball tournament. And we had Martinsville Fire, I believe, battling it out against, uh, I think it was Effingham Fire, if I believe right. Maybe it was the other Lincoln team. There were two Lincoln Fire teams, and an Effingham Fire Department, and a Martinsville Fire Department team. So it was a lot of fun. Not as easy as it looks. Trying to battle water coming down in your face and being soaked and trying to push that ball on the rope, it was challenging but also fun. Alright, now it's my time to suit up. So the second person there in line is me and I am getting ready to get soaked. And um, luckily it wasn't 40 degrees out anymore, it was <laughs> like a good 55 or 60. 40 degrees would have been a little cold, but it was fun, and I believe we won this one. Some new volunteers and 
some some younger crowd. He says the department raised $800 last year and hopes to do the same or even better this time around. All right, guys. Well, that's wrapping it up here for the 2023 Lincoln Fire Protection District Fall Fest. It was a great day. Uh, WCIA came out and covered the event. So I'm not for sure on how much money was raised as of this time. Uh, a lot of people loved Axial, the canine dog, and got to pet and love on him. So that was always good uh, to see, you know, kids and, and community, you know, getting to know the canine dog. So if they ever see him out on the streets or working at scene, they know who he is and what he's doing. But not only is Lincoln Fire, you know, someone we got to think about. We've got to think about our other fire departments. Charleston, Matt Toon, Steve, and Tim are always doing a great job around here. There are... Uh, assistant chief and fire chief here in Charleston. Uh, so the next time you see a firefighter or the next time you see a house on fire or a helicopter landing on an accident scene or this truck driving down your streets, make sure that you shake their hand, give them a hug and tell them that we love them. We appreciate all their services. You know, after 9-11, things uh, have changed a lot, but uh, they do do a lot of stuff. This was the Christmas parade last year. They do... Uh, you know, the Polar Plunge here in February, they do a whole lot of stuff. Lincoln Fire is always there training, uh, getting, you know, people to, to get more involved with the fire service. If you want to donate your time and become a volunteer firefighter, make sure you check out your local fire department and uh, see how you can help and make a difference in your community. Thanks to Lincoln Fire. Thanks for all the people that came out and made this day a success. So we'll see you guys in the next one. God bless and thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.